All right guys, so this is gonna be aimed at beginners, but anyone can watch this video, even if you're advanced, and especially if you're a subscriber, you should definitely watch this video all the way to the end. So it's been said that lucid dreaming is difficult to attain, um, especially for beginners, it's said that it's quite hard as a skill to master, and I agree. If you're new to this, it's very difficult to like build up the skills that you need to build the awareness that will lead to lucid dreams. So this video is gonna be a guide on how to lucid dream really quickly, like how to get started when you don't know anything about it. You've heard that it's a cool thing to experience, maybe you've read a few stories like that people were flying around or having sex with celebrities, that sort of stuff, learning skills, improving their sleep, and you kind of want to get involved in this. You think it's a cool thing to get involved in, but you don't know how. So this is not about how to lucid dream regularly, this is just about how to get your first lucid dream as quickly as possible. And this is going to be a very concise video and everything I say here is kind of important, so don't Try not to skip this video and you know scrub through it if you can. I know that's quite hard because our attention spans, you know, we we like to be distracted quite easily, right? I'm the same. So the first thing you need to do is just to build your awareness and belief. Just tell yourself that you can lucid dream, and that it's possible for you. That's it. And I'll just leave it at that. You can research your own mantras and affirmations. Just make sure you believe that you can do it, and you believe lucid dreaming is real because it is. It's been proven, right? Okay, so the second thing is you want to inspire yourself as much as possible. Now this could be done by watching videos. You can watch some of my videos where I talk about my experiences. You can watch other people's videos. Or you can just read articles and things and like, you can read stories and testimonials of p things people have done in lucid dreams that are interesting. Things that are inspiring and exciting and that, that are going to make you motivated to want to learn this stuff. So this is where you'll want to go to places like Reddit, you'll want to type into Google things like best things to do in a lucid dream or most exciting lucid dreaming stories, that sort of stuff, right? There's also videos on my channel, but you know, you probably don't want to hear my voice all the time. Or maybe you do, I don't know. The next thing you're going to want to do, and this is where the results are going to happen, right? So the first sort of stage of this with the affirmations and the inspiration and building your desire to lucid dream, that can be done over as long a period of time as you want. Like you could spend a couple of hours doing that or you could just if you're watching this video now for example like I'm, I'm going to post this video about 12 p.m right in the middle of the day if you're watching this video at roughly the middle of the day you could spend the rest of that day from when you watch this doing that, those first two stages so on the evening of the day when you watch this video you could get started right then and here's what you do you set you set your phone alarm to go off after six hours of sleeping and when the phone alarm goes off, you're gonna lay there, you're gonna turn your alarm off, and then you're just gonna go back to sleep with the solid intention in your mind of lucid dreaming. And that's all you're gonna do. And what you're also gonna do is, sorry, I should have mentioned before you, uh, before you go back to sleep and lay there, so your alarm's gone off, you're gonna then set your alarm again to go off every 15 minutes, right? And this is quite important. You're gonna to need to set it at intervals of 15 minutes. You might wanna do this before, you know, the night before on your phone or maybe if you can find an app or even a recurring timer or an egg timer or something, whatever it is, just find a way to interrupt your sleep every 15 minutes from the moment you wake up in the morning after six hours of sleep. So hopefully this makes sense. So you sleep for six hours, you wake up, you set your alarm to go off every 15 minutes from then on, and then you go back to sleep with the solid intention of lucid dreaming. Now, when I say solid intention, I mean really tell yourself, I am going to lucid dream right now, and then lay back to sleep, relax all your muscles, relax all of the tension. We hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, in, in, in our jaws, and in our throats, especially when we're laying on our side, because we're compensating sometimes for our neck being out of line, so we'll sort of push back with our throat muscles. Try and relax as much as you can all of the muscles, especially in your upper body, but also your lower body. And just breathe deeply, relax, and just go back to sleep with, this, with only with one intention, and that is to lucid dream. And what's gonna happen is every time your alarm goes off at these 15 minute intervals, it's gonna be interrupting your sleep during the time of night when you're most likely to have a long REM sleep period. Now, REM sleep, rapid eye movement, is the most likely time when you're gonna lucid dream. It's when we have our dreams, and it's definitely the best time to try and have an OBE or a lucid dream. Uh, during the night. So by interrupting it every 15 minutes, you're very, very likely to induce a wake back to bed lucid dream or a wild, or even just cut your, or even just remind yourself that you're dreaming and be able to remember dreams that you otherwise would have forgotten. So at this time, what you're gonna need to do is have a notepad by your bed with a pen and everything that you remember, write it down. Because the chances are that just doing this tonight, you'll have your first lucid dream, probably even two lucid dreams. Like I've done this 
and had two or three lucid dreams in one night, or I should say in one morning, because by the time you actually do this, it'll be early in the morning, the next day, right, tomorrow. Now, a few warnings and tips about this. Firstly, by doing this, you will feel tired the next day because you're gonna be cutting your sleep in half about five times. So you will feel tired, so ideally do this on a weekend or if you don't have to wake up in the morning tomorrow, perfect, do it then. It's not a long-term solution and even if it works tomorrow or tonight, even if it works, you shouldn't do this every night because it's gonna make you feel tired long-term and it's gonna interrupt and damage your sleep patterns. So don't do this all the time. This is just to go, like I said, right? This is just to go from nothing to having your first lucid dream in the shortest period of time possible. And this is the best way I know how to do that. You'll notice I haven't mentioned reality checks, I haven't mentioned meditation, because these things take time to build up as a habit. You can't do these instantly and have them instantly give you a lucid dream. Whereas the interrupting your sleep thing and the inspiration and just the solid intent of lucid dreaming will give you a lucid dream fairly quickly. Right, so just focus on those things. If you would like to learn like a longer term strategy for inducing more lucid dreams in the future, then you should check out my other videos or just go on my channel, subscribe, and just look through my technique videos. I've got dozens of videos, probably over a hundred now, uh, of technique videos where I show you exactly how to build up the habits you need for lucid dreaming. But this video, like I said, to recap, this has just been for beginners. Do these things, you should have a lucid dream tonight. Uh, at the very least, if you do these tomorrow and then try them the next day, you'll have a lucid dream within 48 hours. Pretty much guaranteed. I mean, obviously it can't be completely guaranteed, right? Because, you know, what can be? But hopefully you'll have a lucid dream. If you do, leave a comment. And if you've tried this, leave a comment as well. And pretty much if you're watching this in any way, shape or form, leave a comment because I like comments. Comments. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.